Hi guys, my name is Tomcat, and welcome back to Spin Tires Mud Runner for a old school truck mod review. Now, we're not going to be playing with a wheel in this video, we're going to be playing with a controller, and we're going to be checking out a very high quality, very well made mod. Now, this is Spun's 67 Chevy K10, and as you can see, it's very high quality, and a lot of time has been put into making this truck look the way that it does. Now, it doesn't really have that many add-ons, it just has one, but what you can do is basically put an entire kit of things in the bed, all in one go, instead of adding them one by one, so it kind of streamlines the process a little bit. Now, once you start it up, you're greeted by the grumble of that classic V8, and it's time to set off on the trails. Now, this is my first time checking out the truck, and I will say, the interior view is absolutely insanely detailed. You can see the cage, the gauges, which don't work, but to be honest, I mean, that's... Nobody's really been able to do that yet and make it look good. Um, you, get a, you, you can see the CB radio down there. You can see, like, the seats are even fully detailed. You know, the doors have door handles, window winders. It's all there. So, with all that being said, let's take this thing out on the trail and cut straight to the performance. Let's see what this thing is actually capable of. Now, right off the bat, you can definitely tell that, this is, that the suspension is very absorbent. It's very absorbent of the bumps, and the truck itself has a really nice, soft, more softly tuned suspension, which is really nice because it makes the truck less bouncy. And also, as we crawl along, you can see that the grip levels of this truck are quite high, but you also do have to incorporate some strategy so that you don't end up flipping it over or sticking the bumper up against a rock now oh man this is good this is really really good i'm almost wishing that i drove it with the wheel now because the truck the truck is just so smooth the wheelbase is just about the right size and oh my god the crawler gear look at that that is low one that's low one with everything locked it just it's just walking barely walking Holy crap, we're gonna need a little bit more wheel speed than that, obviously, but if you really need to crawl along, then that right there, that is what you need. Come on, work your way up, work your way up, there you go. There she goes. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, what you've got here is an old school style, classic Spin Tires mod style trail rig. I mean... It's it's and it's unapologetic about it. This truck has no reason to want to be anything else. It is a trail rig and and that's it. Like through and through. This is a trail rig. It has no need to want to pull a log trailer. It has no need, you know, to want to even really be like I mean you could use it as a scout vehicle if you wanted, but it really just wants to ride trails. Like that's it. I mean if actually as you can see right there, there's a good representation of how much this thing flexes. I mean, it flexes just as much as all the other, well, not necessarily all the other crawlers, but it flexes more than enough, but it also retains enough of that realism to where you can go down the trail and feel like, yes, this feels like something that you could take down the trail in real life, but that could also be driven along, you know, along the road. And it's not necessarily too built to drive it on the road, which I think is also another big factor of what makes this truck so cool. I also like the fact that the speed difference between low 2 and low 3 isn't, like, super dramatic. It's not like you put it in low 3, up from low 2, and it takes off. It's it's actually a really gradual build-up. It's, it's, it's a small difference, but it's just enough of a difference that it's actually, you know, that it's worth using the different gears, but, oh wow, and then when you put it in high, it actually does kind of jump up and go a little bit. Yeah, if you need to scramble up something, high definitely works well for it. I was impressed with it. I mean, it I, that was a lot more wheel speed than I expected it to generate because a lot of Spun's trucks are actually a little bit slower in high than some of the other trucks. But with that being said, I think that's about perfect for high range as far as as far as what you would use this truck for. I mean, it's not it's it's not a race truck. It's only a four speed when you put it in automatic mode. But even driving along at higher speed, the suspension is very soft, very absorbent of bumps, and just does a good job at what it was made to do. I mean, this truck doesn't, literally, like I said before, it doesn't make any apologies for what it isn't, but it also highlights what it is and what it's for. And what that, and what that means is it literally just 
going after every single trail in sight and getting through it no problem just lumbering right through and then carrying on to the next one that is a hundred percent what this truck is for this is one of those trucks that you could just relax like you could pull up a map bring this truck in relax and just drive for a couple of hours and it would be super fun you know what i mean it would be super fun it would be a relaxing couple of hours and you could just like have fun driving this thing you stay in the throttle whoa wow what a save that was okay i didn't expect to save that i gotta be completely honest with you guys right now i expected that to be wow we better not go over right here After a save like that, I was not going to go over that easily. Wow, it's really easy to get it up into high, actually. It doesn't take much, doesn't take much speed. Wow, this thing works well. I really like it. It's a good truck. And that's just what it all boils down to, is it's a damn good truck. It really is. This thing, I mean, and I know that I might sound like, you know, some people in the comments are like, Oh, you're just saying that because it's a spun truck. Actually, no. To be honest, it's like some of spun's trucks I like. Some of spun's trucks I don't like. But overall, I know a, like, I know a really, really good mod when I see one and when I drive one. And this one is just that. A really, really good mod. Oh, yep. I was like, please no. Not here. Of all places, not here pretty map too very pretty map let's see let's use high to jump up this little hill there we go yes it's the perfect gear ratio to just bump hills and bump obstacles like if you need to bump something just throw this thing in high like give it a little bit of a rev in automatic and then toss it in high you're done good to go i love the suspension tune the suspension tune is what makes this truck. All right, let's do some real climbing, boys. Already getting challenging. The wheelbase isn't a fan of this trail. And let's cut back right and then cut. Whoa, okay, cut left. Jeez, that's a bit, oh, that's a bit sketchy. I don't know if going straight's gonna help us any. I'm gonna back it up just a little bit and then recenter myself and aim for the left. I just don't know if it's. Eh, I just don't know if that's gonna end up going where I want it to go. I'm gonna let myself drop back and then. Uh, that's gonna be. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Can it pull itself out of that? Yes, it can. Holy crap, I don't, wow, I didn't expect it to pull itself out of that. That's really impressive. There we go, that's the line I was looking for. See, if you work to find the right line, this thing will just, it, it will give it to you every time. You just have to work at it a little bit and find that line that, that it's that it's gonna like. And then once you find that line, it will go, it will follow it. And you just have to trust it. Just put 100% trust in this truck and it will reward you. I was thinking about pulling the winch line out, but I was like, I want to give it one more chance, and it came through. God, what a truck. What a truck. It's just got that classic look. It's got the performance to back it up. It's got that V8 grumble. It's got everything that you would want from a truck like this. Literally everything that you would want from a truck like this. I can't think of anything that this truck doesn't have that it should have. You know what I mean? Like, it, this thing has everything that this truck should have and is, in my opinion, supposed to have. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe for more. And also, if you want to drive this truck yourself and check it out, it is available on the Steam Workshop. Make sure you look it up.